So I'll take your knife or chisel. Let's start. Let's see, where am I? Am I in? Am I in or out? I'm going to take some of this started here before the apocalypse of big machinery come in and ruin. And see, we want the depth. Now, because she's got the bosom and this is going to come in a little bit, now it's still going to come out just a little bit, but these people are, are pushing the dress back. So what's really happened is right where the, in a human figure, right where the belly is, it would go straight down, except the knee comes out a little bit, whatever. You just don't want to get in too much of it, and only the feet would come out. But we're pretending to have that she has no feet there, and feet is fine. And uh, so, so we want about the same depth as we got here, basically. with a little bit of this coming out a little bit, but it, it doesn't drop. The, the dress doesn't drop very well because these people are pushing the dress back. Okay, I used my knife. Took a good hunk out. Let's get the little number five. Let me get right up to that cut mark. Get a little bit of shade off in there so you can see. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Some people do a good job of getting this kind of stuff off with the chisel. I gotta use the knife. Okay. Now, careful, come into the end. Careful, careful. Come down like that. There you go. And then come across. You know, I'm looking up at the tree, and we are, this is the last of the shading. Well, gee, every time I think I got sunlight. Come on there. Let's do another shifty. Let me make sure this doesn't go down. Oh, there we go. Is that better? Let's bring this back down again. Take a look. All right. Now let's start committing to the side. Remember we got the, the I want to say the skirt. I don't know, I got that started. So I'm going to go, what I usually do is I start at the bottom and go back up after I start roughing out. But that's what we'll kind of do with the, the little characters here. Like I said, we're just committing to the basic shape and we'll do our rounding and final shaping later. And then we do have, put that there, I still have some, they still have some bird food in their bird feeder and some of the birds are kind of looking at me and like, when are you going to get the heck out of here? Okay, same. Now here, we just want to take bring it down and taking the knife marks or the uh, saw marks off at the same time. I think my knife has a, a mark in it, but I'm gonna keep going. Now this,
How can we do this? There we go. Bring in the legs in. Thumb out of the way. Am I in the camera? Yes, I am. It's almost like committing to the leg. In which that we may have to go a little deeper on the dress. Maybe not, not as much. I think we might need some more. I think if we were to come this way, what's going to happen is that if we, as we come around this way, at least the side view will look almost perfect, better. Let us put the leg back in. I can hear through the through the door that Lynn is still talking to her people on at her work. She works at the university, University of Minnesota. And they're a little concerned about, you know, the students not, I mean, the students, they're, they're fixing it so they could, uh, you know, do a lot of their classes, like all the, like the elementary and high school uh, via internet. But when it comes to college, there's more to it than just books and teachers yap, and there's more kinds of studies and, and research and all of that. And they're, that's going to be a little nerve-wracking, how that's going to get all fixed. Okay, we'll just round the, round the feet just a little bit here. Like I said, we're just blocking out these little characters, and we'll do better shaping later. Am I still in? Yep. Same with on this side. Get that stop cut in there. I think the stop cut got started. Now the way I'm cutting here like this is that, um, like that first chip is, I want to say it's going the wrong way, therefore it would easily chip off if you're not careful. But then once you get that first chip out of there, then, then it should work. And you can see it's still kind of a little hacky and, and, and I'm not too concerned with it being hacky right now because like I said, we're just getting started. And that's the thing about having a video, I'd have to do this and when I do my step-by-steps for the magazines is that um, you got to do each step clean and it's kind of difficult right now we're roughing I mean it's not okay I'm coming towards the end here careful 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 think hand out of the way mostly the hands out of the way stop cut get the leg in there Now I want, I'm not sure, I think, where the foot and the pants almost come as one. Because, you know, you gotta, can't have any exposed skin. And we'll get back later on, on you know, making this better because, uh, because we're gonna be, we're gonna be getting into the, the angel's backside, so there's gonna be probably more character sticking out, so. I just want to start to commit to how these characters are going to fit. And everything else will fit, I think. I believe. 
that's that's the thing and like i said these are a little bigger people so they're not too much children but when, when you paint it in uh it will be quite a bit different now as far as said i wanted to have this let's bring this back this extra sleeve if we bring this back because there's going to be the hand we want the hand and then the excuse me we want to get this the uh sleeve out of the way is is the main thing because <sighs> once we have the sleeve out of the way and then we got the hand out of the way i think it might be a little uh, concerned that one hand as long as i can fit one hand is higher than the other but i think we could as long as we fix the arm i'm going to keep the hand because it gives you know you know one hand just happens to be a little higher so the hand is not perfect so now this can be added on to here all oh, the crows are kind of upset about one thing or another they're probably upset with me because they're i think they're making a nest in our neighbor's yard and that really is going to screw up my my birding Okay, I just want to make sure that we commit to, there's still more of the arm. We'll figure that out a little later. I just want to make sure that we commit to the, leave an extra wood right there. Same with on the other side. Well, this one here, I think we don't have two. The arm is, a, the hand, Angel's hand is a little lower. So I think we might be okay. And, you know, it's kind of okay when you do goof up with measurements, is, especially when it comes to things like the hands and arms and legs, is sometimes it, it makes it more realistic. It's not like a statue, a straight statue. Okay, now what we've committed to, and what's going to happen is, like I said, the hand is going to be sticking out. The hands are the farthest out. Like I said, the hand and the feet are the most farthest out so what we got to do is round this and at the same time commit to now the old like like her like the angel see how the shoulder from the shoulder the the uh, elbow goes out and then the forearm comes in so here's the forearm is got to go towards the elbow I'm going to leave some extra meat here, some extra wood for the chest area, not because she's female, but I think same with the other guy too, we'll do the same. I want to get going on the, the arms first. So we're starting, it's starting to look good, or okay. And like I said, the hand is out. Oh yeah, I gotta, I definitely gotta sharpen this knife. You'll see a lot of the weird um, see that makes a weird uh, sharp let's take a quickie here I'm going to take on the sandpaper just a little just a swipe or two a swipe or two oh, no, that's not my which under I can hardly see it there's where I have my Aluminum, aluminum oxide. Let's see if that helped a little bit. I don't have to stop and get a huge... Here, let me come up here. What I always tell people when they... Um, sharpen their knives you just take a cut and it just feels like you're just cutting through plastic and here you can see some nice reflection from the sun I think depending on how I can do that okay I'm gonna do this just to while we're while I'm here I want to take some of the saw marks off just to keep seeing if this really is sharp I think it is and I could see that the shade is coming back again, just like that. We got shade. So 
saw marks out just to yep it is good and I figure this is a good time to do it when the knife if this is going to be near the end or if this is how it's going to end up you way want to make sure you got a nice sharp knife to make it look smooth okay let's do another shifty I think we could do another shifty here oh there we go is that a little better that's still a little bit of a little bit of shade going on there's always something going on and there's dogs he's uh I don't know who he is. Across the alley and then across the street. All right, let's get back to the character. Want that hand to be sticking out a little bit. Now it's the same thing here. Here. Let's bring this in a little bit. Let's bring, uh, where's our small number five? Smaller number five. Like I said, some people could take that chisel and they can get that little booger out of there, all right. But same thing at that V in there. So let's commit to the forearm being down. Now, once the forearm is down, let's shrink that a little bit. Okay, and I think, well, let's do it to character number two. Do it to the mister here. Shape this. Like I said, we can, we can do a little bit of shaping along the way. But like I said, the main thing is to start committing to where the arms and the hands and the skirt and are we still on here yes we are uh, just barely and we're just getting a feel of what the heck is going on here yeah because then because what's going to happen is that then the shoulder is going to go even farther back but we want to make sure that we got the elbow and then this is going to go way back with the front uh, both of them are kind of sticking out Okay, same thing here. Did we do a? No, we did not. Oh, careful, side. Careful, careful. Let's straighten. Actually, I screwed up here, didn't I? That's supposed to go back. Not screwed up. I'll, I'll take care of it. It's supposed to actually go back. You know, here. There. It just occurred to me. You guys are watching. Why didn't you tell me? You're screwing up. There we go. That's a little better. Again, we'll fix that because the shoulder is going to go in. In fact, uh, as soon as I get this in, I'll, I'll do that to... Because to make it easier, let's, let's, we should do this the easy way here. This next time... Yeah, now that you've already screwed up your carving... No, you, no, we're still good. I should have... I didn't think of it. I should take this arm here. And what I usually do, like in some of... When I, when I carve and get the arm in, and sometimes one of the first thing I put in is the elbow crease. I'll just put a little one in right now. The reason why, because then we can sharpen or round this, and then you can round this. So you're separating the two. And that's what we should have done here. Oh, am I way off? I am way off. Sorry about that. Hope I didn't ruin too much of it. We'll put this in. And now, yeah, we still got to take some of this off. It's true because the hand is still farther out. So we, we did okay at this part. Mm -hmm. 
but it's got to go in. Am I still in the camera? And then the shoulder comes there. That's what we should have done. Now the fact that that uh, that arm is is covered, so we're still okay. I mean, it's still okay. I mean, the main thing is we want to get the forearm is in from the hand. The hand is what's sticking out. Careful! Don't take too much. Don't swipe and take your hand off. There we go. That's what I meant to say around there. Now, as for the shoulder, like I said, the shoulder is going to go back like that. And we still have the figure. Call it the core. I think they call that. In other words, the the chest, belly is the core because this still is going to go back. Because the the see the reason why I put this dent in here is because I still want the the chest to come out. Same here. Just a little bit of the chest and there it goes like that and then a little bit where the neck is going same over here let's fix her up round like I said the because it's gonna be round this way my out That's one negative thing about being outside with this, is I look at my screen and I cannot, it's so reflective. And again, we want to bring this up. Oh, excuse me. Okay, we're getting there. And what I want to do, I don't know if you can hear my wife cough, and she doesn't have it. She's had this, it's a nasal or whatever, she's been coughing all her life, but that's why, you know, she when she goes outside, or make sure she's not going to have one of her coughing fits, or people are going to tell her to go away. <sighs> it's not that. I kind of have the same thing with dry throat. Okay, we are at the point. Other than it being hacky, if you want to clean it up, we are kind of at the point of leaving this alone for now. I mean, we start we get we kind of committed a little bit to here. In fact, that's what we could do before we leave the the characters. Let's go ahead and commit to the back a little bit and like I said she is the, the, the characters are, are out uh, from side to side where she is not so let's kind of commit to that now Let's start in and just shaping for the sake of figuring out where we're at here. Because we'll have the legs come in. Am I still in when I'm standing up? Yep. And the thing is, is you can make these characters as wide as possible because they, like I said, they are in. Um, in these very bulky, very plasticky, very round, almost like they're like there's air, like there's a lot of air between what they are wearing and where their skin is. I mean, it's it's very bulky. 
The heads are going to be shrunk quite a bit. I, I could see that. I mean, even though it's bulky. And there's still much more to take off, but like we're starting in, we're starting into the commitment. Oh, getting close. Oh, it, 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 it. There. Same with this side, and I'll turn a little bit. Yeah, I still have those scratch marks on me. I'll have to work with that. I'm taking a lunch break pretty quick here. That'd be probably a good time to do that. And again, rounding for the sake of getting a feel. Not really committing too much to detail. Now the leg is pretty decent. But again, like I said, it's very bulky. I mean, if this was, you know, a, a, like a life-size doll or something, or, or practically I would say nude, I mean, there's a lot more we'd be taking off. But... This is very bulky. <clears throat> it's going to almost like uh, with the angels watching over. Oh, that's a good one. Christmas time, angels watching over the boys and girls who are outside in the snow. You know, I got the boy with the sled. He's out doing something. I don't know what. The girl, I don't know, making the snowman, but getting kind of close to the curb there. And, that make a good Christmas angel. So like I said, we're just getting started. This might go in quite a bit. The hands, I'm going to shape a little bit. Not so much for committal, but again for getting a feel for what we're doing here. For what's, what's happening. Because we're getting close to... I think this this elbow came up. I still in. I've been kind of low. Okay, boy. When it comes to picking, we're going to be doing a lot of picking and shaping. I'll still do a little more shaping before we get kind of the end of that. Uh, like I said, we're just getting started to the uh, shaping the angel, and then uh, I mean it really big thing is the head obviously making sure that the arms are correct I mean there's as far as roughing out or as far as the, the, the bottom half were were pretty decent I'm gonna do a little more cutting here since we cut the head down from the characters a little more here and I think we should I want to right, let's take some more saw marks and round off the back here just a bit that's going to be there's not gonna be too much detail in the back other than making some creases oh, I still got some more marks on there Ooh, I wonder if that is the post office UPS. Uh, I am expecting a package from my Rough Hawk guy. Dive, dive. Now I want to take a little bit more off the shoulder or the back, top half of the back. I'm sorry, um, because I think. She's going to have a little bit of a lean, but I want to be careful, not too much, just enough to get the feel of things. And like I mentioned before, uh, when you want to experiment, just take a piece of, bad piece of wood, make sure it's carvable. I mean, I, it's kind of hard to do, um, to do, um, uh, uh, creating with a hard piece of wood. Hard piece of wood is save those for when you know what you're doing. 
which for me, like a more, much more hardwood than, well, I better leave that alone. Anyways, one of the things I want to start committing to, comes the fun part, is let's get this arm, just a little bit, the arm to the body. I want this. And I want to take one of my large round tools, like a good solid number nine, ten, nine ish. There we go. Nine ish. Where are we here? There's the, I see the hill. Oh, there you go. Third. And let's see if we can do this without my ouch. Uh, um, go up on it. I just want to. And what we're doing is we're just, a, it's a semi-committing to separating the arm from the chest. Semi-meaning it's still being round, you still, if there's some goofing, uh, goofing up, you still... Okay. So I'm going to take the knife. Now I know I, now by, by figure, like I said, there's, we're thinking neckish. Their bosoms will be about here. So we might have a little bit of a turn at that. Because I kind of want it under, but it is about here. And so I do want to get him back. It's just sort of like a large chip. There we go. Ooh, my bird clock in the house says it is noon o'clock. Lunchtime, lunchtime. And I think that's what I'll do too, because I'm also be <laughs> being outside. It was a little chilly this morning, and so I... So I put on my nice sweater here, and now I am sweating like, like I'm on the beach. And now that we round this a bit, we'll still commit by taking knife, the knife and making some nice sharp. Same here, I wanna. Once you get the head, her, that's his head. His head, and we'll be doing a lot of rounding. So you get more. So we are getting. I mean, we'll be doing much, much more shaping and so on with these characters. But right now, and I don't know if you want to clean, clean it up a little bit because when you do the picking at the end, because there's still more carving to do. Okay, like I said, I'm going to do this where the arm is. Usually I give too much thickness, excuse me, to the arm. So, which is fine. You can always cut back. And I just want to get, just get it started. The commitment of the arm to the body. Um, like I said, if, I'm pretty sure because uh, according to the if we did this perfect, but the head is not really defined. Yeah, I mean we're still right where that line is is good to to figure where her bosom is there. So, so what I want to do is bring this up a little bit. That to get a good profile, and I want to stop here. In fact, I am going to stop here for lunch because what's going to happen is when I come back, we're going to do the head next, and the head is going to like, like I always do. I since this is not going to have a nose and eyes, 
but then we're still going to have the head, and the head is just going to fit everything else and where the neck is and where everything else is. But I am pretty happy, basically. Uh, what might happen, I think what might happen is I might have to... Sh but I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Don't, don't do that now. I'll see. More than likely we'll do something like that, but I want to see where the shoulder comes, and the shoulder is where the, where the neck is. Let me redo this. And I would like for her to have a swan neck for two reasons. One, uh, I have done a lot of female carvings, and it's like their head is right on their shoulder, right on their chest there, and I, I don't like that. And if worse comes to worse, always a woman has a swan-like neck. Uh, that's number one. And uh, uh, number two is we do have a lot more figure than I, I was hoping for. Like I said, we can always cut the head off. Take, take and even cut some of the head off. And uh, like I did forget to tell you what this, I'll tell you what this is on the, on the, uh, um, on the uh, carving, or on the, um, can't think and listen to birds at the same time. I think this was, yeah, this was eight by, eight by three, or eight by two, two and three quarters. But anyways, that's a little too late, but it'll be, sh should be on my uh, pattern. But I'm going to stop here with the, take a break and, and uh, charge, oh, there we go, charge the, my phone up here because it only can take so much power. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. RKO, let's get back to, to work. Uh, let's see, like I said, I was going to, hey, get out of there. We got a hornet just came in here. Wasp. All right, let's get uh, going on the head. <coughs> like I said, we're going to do a little bit of a, just kind of round, make sure we got the neck. I think, like I said, we might have to take off some of the top soles because this is going to be the chin. And if we have the hair come down like this, oh yeah, there's going to be, I'm going to whack off quite a bit, I suppose. But let's get the head in first. Uh, make sure I got the carving in the in the camera come down make sure I want to make sure I get down to the shoulder make sure we got enough here we can always bring it up and this is gonna be round yeah we, I, that would be perfect that was the neck because then if we did something like if we did something like this whoops that's a slip then the yeah that'll be like that. I'll have just a little bit. I think I made that this one a little too thick. You know, it's always good to leave a lot and you can always take some off, but you know, it gets to a point where, uh, you know what, I don't want to do that. Okay, now, oh, I forgot the head is tilted a little bit, so I went the wrong way. Why didn't you tell me? That's better. I have to get around here for now. That's, I mean, we got too much. Matter of fact, uh, that is going to still be pushed back quite a bit uh, right after we do the face because I want to make sure that the face and the neck is, is in, is, is doing what it's supposed to be doing as it were. So... Do the stop cut. Another stop cut. Careful, careful. Watch it. Now we're going to round. Now the head is going to be rounded, of course, face rather. But be uh, understood that we still have quite a bit more head up on top. Say the crown, as it were, the clean that out of there, clean this out of here. Oops, too much, too much shade. I want to take the 
the saw marks off while doing a little bit of rounding. I want to put that line back in. Yeah, I got the neighbors on the phone over there. and So if you hear other voices, let's take the saw marks off. Again, we're just starting in. Taking quite a bit off, actually. Yeah, I'm hearing him. He's mentioning that he got a squirrel yesterday in his, what do you call it, live trap. And so, yeah, I think I told you that. So he's on his way. Got rid of it humanely, I suppose. He went to the park and let it go. Okay, getting that out of there. Now, let's begin the roundness of the head, of the chin. Yeah, I mean, he, he looks like he's she's wearing like some kind of a basket for a hat there. We'll be taking this straight down. Oi, with the scoop with a little bit of that little bit of that neck in there now this is gonna be straight down that hair will be shaped later same with on the other side do you see what I'm doing okay straight down straight down this way make sure it goes under the shoulder now I'll take some of that neck, like I said, just a little bit of a scoop. Airplane overhead. Now I've, I've been taking big chunks off. I mean, you don't have to take, take it all in one scoop like I do. I can take in many scoops. Here, let me clean this a little bit and I'll show you. It's kind of hard to carve this way pop right out of my hand. So like what we got stuff thus far. I think we got the one that's a little higher than the other one here. If we... Just a little bit here and we're still shaping. That's what we got thus far. Maybe we can get closer up. How close can I get? Round this a little bit. In other words, taking rounding and taking some of that. Just we're just going to take a little bit of the saw mark off. Is I don't want to take off too much of that chin. Now, like I said, you can, if you wish, to put a face in there. But like I said, we're going to round it like an egg, and and that's it. So let's put that little bit of that the neck in. Another kind of a funny round V-cut-ish kind of a thing, V-cut-ish. We're keeping the hair on the shoulder. This way, just doing a little bit of a scoop. here but we're going to the next I think that head no the head might be all right let's put the that's right there we'll draw the halo here now I want the halo am I a little lower than I should no no yeah we're gonna cut a lot of that hair out of oops I forgot to tilt 
That's why it looked funny. Make sure it tilts a little bit this way. And I'm going to do a little bit of a commitment here of, of the halo. And now we have a little bit of a chainsaw in the distance. I mean, that's like you. It always reminds me chainsaw in the summertime. Always reminds me of the red green show. Always have the chainsaw going in the background. Quite a bit yet to go. We're just somewhere between shaping, first shaping, and first um, figuring it out. Oops, again, what we're gonna do is, where's the shoulders, right here, just a little, just a slight arc. Slight arc up, not straight across. Straight arc up. Now what's gonna happen here, I'm gonna go a little higher, just a little bit. It's down here. Now what's going to happen right here that we're going to we're going to jump in on? This is one of the lowest places of where are we? Am I here? Yep. Lowest place that we're going to go straight down this way, and from the neck straight down this way, or from the bottom of the neck. So what's going to happen is it's going to go in, and then from this point here, going to go in this way. So this is the deepest, and we have the chin sticking out. Sometimes I like to start in with it. A nice bite from the feed tool. Oop. And then use the, sometimes I like to use the flat edge. Here, let's go use that flat edge. That'll help bring it up. But remember, right here's the deepest. And now I get the knife going again. Yeah, this is kind of feels like it's getting kind of needs sharpening. Okay, like I said, this goes go straight down this way. Can you see that? There we go. 